question from a non-Muslim friend of mine. Uh, she is asking me like, uh, within you Muslims itself, you have confusion. Like, uh, when you meet, you ask first, the question is uh, whether you are a Wahhabi or a Sunna, a Sunni, whatever. This kind of questions, there is a confusion between you itself. What do you want us to follow? What is that uh, we can exactly come follow and... Uh, the sister asked the question that the non-Muslim sister asked. There's a confusion among the Muslims. When you meet, you ask, you are a Wahhabi, or are you Hanafi, or a Shafi, or a Maliki? So there's a confusion amongst the Muslims. So what's the reply? I do agree with the uh, non-Muslim sister that unfortunately many Muslims call different names. But when I tell the Hindus to go back to the Vedas, I tell the Muslims to go back to the Quran. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Al Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 103, Allah says, Wa tasimu bi hablillahi jami wa la Hold the rope of Allah strongly and be not divided. We have to hold the rope of Allah. The rope of Allah is the glorious Quran and the authentic hadith. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Anam, chapter number 6, verse number 159, that anyone who makes division in the religion of Islam, O oh Prophet, you have nothing to do with him. Making sex, making division in Islam is prohibited, it is haram. But when we ask the Muslims, what are you? Some say I'm a Hanafi, some say I'm a Shafi, some say I'm a Hanbali, some say I'm a Salafi. What was the Prophet? Was the Prophet Hanafi? Was the Shafi? Was the Hanbali? Was the Malaki? What was he? He was a Muslim. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 52, Isa alayhi salam, Jesus Christ, peace be upon you, you are the Muslim. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Al-Imran, chapter 3, verse 67, that Abraham, peace be upon him, you are the Muslim. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Fusila, chapter number 41, verse number 33, وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَالَ مِنْ مَنْ دَعِ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَأَمِنُ صَالِحَوْنَ قَالَ إِنَّنِ مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ Who is better in speech than one who invites to the way of thy Lord, works righteousness, and says that I'm a Muslim. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad was a Muslim. Allah has told us to call ourselves Muslim. They cannot be a better label than Muslim. See, all these four great imams, Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Shafi, Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal, Imam Malik, may Allah be pleased with them all. They were great scholars. I love them. I respect them all. They were great scholars. But all these great scholars said, all these four imams said, that if you find any of my fatwa, which goes against Allah and his Rasul, then you throw my fatwa on the wall. So here if you analyze, that all these Imam that came, they came not to make a new sex, they came for the people to go back to the original scripture, the Quran, the Sahih Hadith. So what we have to realize, that I know there are people who say, that isn't there a Hadith in which the Prophet said, there will be 73 sex, it's Hadith of Tirmidhi, the Sahih Hadith, Hadith number 171. The Prophet said, there will be 73 sex. Prophet didn't say you should make. Prophet knew that even though Allah says, don't make, a bound to make. So the best is to go back to Allah and His Rasul. And the best label you can have is call yourself a Muslim. Any scholar, let it be anyone in the world, let him be the biggest scholar of the world. You ask him for proof. Produce your proof if you are truthful. If you are honest, produce your proof. So any scholar, if the difference of opinion, you ask him for proof. Get the proof, check it up. Therefore, in my talk, I always give references. What I say, what Zakir says is rubbish in Islam. It is zero, nil. Therefore, I say, Zakir doesn't say, Allah says, Qul hu Allah hu ad, say is Allah one and only. If Zakir says it is rubbish, zero, nil in Islam. If Allah says it carries weight. If the Prophet says it carries weight. So therefore, sisters, Muslims should not be divided. We should call ourselves Muslims and follow the Quran and the Sahih Hadith. Anyone who divides the religion, they are going against the Quran.